I know guys who ride bicycles, not even electric bikes that do 300, 400 bucks a day. If you're in a good market, you could make 75 to 100 grand a year doing this. It is super slow. I mean, do I want to do this order? It's 3.4 miles for almost 10 bucks, 9.75. Let's fucking do it. All right, so on the way to the coffee shop, answering other questions. Do I do this full time? How do I make a living on this like $100 a day? I'm trying to make five, six days a week. I only do this job part time. I work about 25 hours a week. My goal is to make, you know, between five, 600 bucks, six, 700, whatever. I'm also a personal trainer. I have some students left over from when I was a full-time personal trainer before the pandemic. And luckily after years of working on my YouTube channel, it, it's starting to pay me like enough money to pay some pretty serious bills. So we're back. And I got Angelo when you're ready, okay? It's 10 bucks, two and a half miles from here. Holy shit, I'm not happy that I took this order, but let's just take our time and drive slow. So, I think it's easy drop off at least. I just hope it's in one fucking piece. Wish me luck. I mean, come on, Yogi Steve, you never fuck it up, right? Perfect, perfect coffee, let's go. There's nobody here, we do not have to tie up. Hmm. Oh, you know, back to the center, back to Target. So, questions about money are always cool, and there's always a right way and a wrong way to ask. I would say 99% of people are really well meaning and they ask in a very nice way, but 1% of people are uh, get a real job, some variation of that. And, you know, I don't know what happened to those people in their childhood, but I just blocked them. Public scooter announcement. Check your freaking tire pressure every 50 miles. Checking every 50 miles might be a little bit of overkill, but I'm convinced I've gotten more flats because I'm not checking it frequently enough. Quite a long wait for this order. We got $8.63, 2.1 mile McDonald's. Let's go. number seven c1 thank you this one's a little bottom heavy part of hayworth and we're going in so now we're on the ramones you gotta like the ramones if you don't know who the ramones are you really need to listen to some ramones whether you're into rock or punk or whatever so 409 So I have this 1.8 mile, $8.18 Starbucks, and then a $5 McDonald's. I think I'm actually gonna give back the McDonald's and do the Starbucks, right? Yeah, for sure. I got a Evan W. Evan. Oh, this is weird. I'm actually in the wrong Starbucks. This one I gotta go to is uh, in this direction. So, okay, we'll do it. They're gonna be ready too. Took us a second to get here. Hey guys, oh, I see Evan right here. Can I just grab it? Thank you very much. See you next time, Starbucks. Uh, thank God we got it. Another common question I get is about theft. I do lock the vehicle up, but in this case, you can see like there's the glass window. I can just look over my shoulder. On a job like this, it'd be incredibly stupid to even look for a place to tie up. Plus, I knew my timing was good. We just walked in and got it. So let's pack this nice and go. Right. This is a good one. We're going to Camden. Check out the stars. Hey, 
How you doing, man? Good to see you. I have Evan in 632. I'm definitely breaking one of my rules, taking an elevator that I did not take up. Let's see where this one brings us. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, so completely wrong fucking, wrong fucking exit, but I think we're okay. Always gotta take the same elevator up as down. I got turned around up there like crazy. <laughs> Order coming in here. A mild Dunkin' Donuts, we're slow, we're gonna take it. They're not ready or really busy, we're gonna give it back. Hey security, can you eyeball the scooter for me for one second? I'm gonna see if I can get a pickup in here. Thank you, thanks dude. Doesn't look good, we're not doing it. Uh, now that it's closer to uh, 10 30, the zombies are starting to wake up. We got a 1.9 mile, $7 and change McDonald's. Does not deserve a thank you from me. She looked at me three times before she gave it to me. I mean, come on, you gotta service the drivers better. I think I'm really good at not taking it personal when the McDonald's staff kind of is like blowing you off, but that woman specifically, man, like she had opportunities to hand me that. I stood there for a while, but whatever. Can't take shit like that personally. Let's go to cursing while I'm cursing. Get the fuck out of my way. Some fucking prick tailgating me. This fucking prick right here. What does this customer want me to do? I just walked out of here. Hey there, how you doing? Pretty good, Alright, enjoy, thank you. Thank you. Have a good morning. You too. Alright, we're taking a high risk order from Breakfast Republic. It's 0.9 miles for seven and a quarter. It's high risk because this place is slow. Struggle. Get a delivery order. How you doing? An order for uh, Sam S. I got Sam S. Thanks, dude. Awesome. We'll see you next time. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Oh shit! It's Rudy. What's up, Rudy? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, man. Are you doing a pickup right now? No, I'm doing delivery right here in this building. Oh, man, it's good to see you. Good to good see you one more you. time. Yeah, I'm yeah. going this way. How's the dual trying holding up? It's pretty good. I only have only one tire change. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. That's very good. The, yeah, it looks the, good. Looks just like mine, fingers, baby. Yeah, I was like, I was like you got to like go to Steve's. <laughs> yeah, man, holding it together. Rudy's good to bump into you, man. I'm glad I mean, you're doing I'm okay. Good. That was good to see Rudy out here on his uh, dual tron, one of the few guys out here doing deliveries on a big scooter. Nice guy, cool guy. Yeah, the hundreds are always on a corner. All right, we got to go up the little driveway. I guess we got coffee. We don't want to jump any curbs. Yeah, I'm a little worried about these coffees. A little worried, a little worried about these coffees for sure, because they're just like the type that want to spill, like super shitty loose lids and shit. All right, let's tie it up. All right. Sometimes the customers don't give a code, but you got to try to guess and figure it out rather than fucking spend all that time trying to get the customer to pick up their goddamn phone. <laughs> Paid out $8.75 instead of $7.25, so that's great, we really needed it. We've been out here for three and a half hours, time has been flying. And honestly, we haven't made shit today. God, these elevators are so goddamn slow. Look at all these fucking rentals out here.
we have an eight dollar point eight mile Starbucks a nice run finally all right we walked right in and got it We're here, this is our second time in this building today. Answering some other questions about money. I know people want to know like how much can you really make doing this? I know guys who ride bicycles, not even electric bikes that do 300, 400 bucks a day. If you're in a good market, you could make 75 to 100 grand a year doing this. You just have to be an incredible hustler willing to work 50 hours or more a week. But it's not like a regular gig, it's not like a regular wage job where you have to beg for more hours to get overtime wages here work as much as you want now for me i have a pretty chill attitude do you know what i'm trying to make five six seven hundred bucks a week but i have first-hand friends you know friends that i really know that do between 50 and 100 grand a year a lot of them are on vehicles like the ruckus or very good electric bikes those do very well i'm one of the few guys who do it on a scooter uh for whatever you know for lots of reasons but Yes, you can make 50 to 100 grand a year doing this for sure, no doubt, in a good market. In a shitty market, you can't make shit. Uh, let's see what this is. $8 Chick-fil-A. I think we're actually gonna take it because we're slow. It's only 1.5 miles, it's going north, let's do it. Oh no, water, no, no, no. What's going on, Sam? Making any money? I just want to make sure I didn't miss Chad M. Chad, thank you. Technique, good work. It's so dumb, like, so sitting there, she said, I oh, will call it, we'll call it. Uh, this fucking Chick-fil-A sucks. My new idea is not to Fuller's take it. All the way at the top. All right, here, Steve. Good luck. All right, Sam, good to see ya. All right, guys, we're going to Fuller. All right, we're doing whatever we have to to avoid this fucking traffic. Oh, this was a dumb move. That was a dumb move. Dumb move, dumb move, but we survived. Yeah, this place sucks. It's the most northern part of Fuller, so it's just all the way uphill. All right, we actually even know the name of this customer. We've been here so many times. All right, fourth floor, 409. Get myself some Mendocino Farms water. We're hanging out with the Cuban mystery driver. What's going on, Papo? Alrighty. So we got 2.2 miles, Mendocino Farms. Let's go. Thank you. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we're going to Mendo. Hi guys, I got Wade, Wade C. Wade, we're still working on it. No problem. I no, 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 no. No? <laughs> Sorry. I got Wade C though, Wade, Wade C. Sorry. It's okay, Wade. Wade. All right, I'll bring it up. Okay, I'll, I'll be right here. No luck with Wade? No. Nope. Okay. Okay. I'm getting completely screwed on this order. I've been waiting like 25 minutes. I refuse to give it up though. I feel like I might though, and this is insanity. I guess I gotta give up on this Wade. I mean, it's like a oh, head. It's still working. Oh my God. All right guys, so we're just not gonna do this order. We can't, we blew a half an hour waiting here. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. But now what's this order I'm getting here from Mendocino? Maybe we'll do all three of these and just wait for all three of them. Fuck it, let's do that. Uh, now we got a triple and we're just gonna wait here for all of them. Actually, I should just go away and come back. I'll, 
I was I was just about to walk on this order for Wade. She brought it out for me, but then I grabbed this other double that's going to save our day from Uber for uh, 20 bucks. So we're going to stay here for a while. It's no problem. I'm going to hang out. It's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver these and then come back for the other order, which finishes close to home. So it's going to take a lot of time, but at least it's another like 30 bucks in our pocket. Yeah, this is definitely a professional move I'm making. I know where this is going. It's going to like a studio on Melrose. So we're just going to freaking do this. We're going to go back, get the Uber, do those, and we're done. So I'm going to call him and I guess he's going to meet me here, right? How's it going, buddy? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. You busy today? Uh, yeah, up and on. Not too bad. I'm calling this guy. He said meet him at security gate. That's cool. this, right? Okay. You've been coming here for years. Hey, it's, hi, it's before. your food. Cool, yeah. Well, you're here? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll be right out. Just pull right behind us. Alright, thanks, bro. Yeah, I've been doing it for like four years now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this fucking customer sounded like he wasn't expecting me or something. So, dollar per hour wise, this is part of one of our worst shifts in a while, but we started at 6.15. I'm sorry, at 6.30, which we've never done before, so it doesn't really make a difference. I actually think we're going to squeeze out 100 bucks, but we got to get this delivered and get back. Right. That's my Uber customer. This fucking guy is taking for fucking ever to come out here. This is not fair, dude. I'm like stuck here. There's nothing I could do. Are you Wade? Yeah. Awesome. How you doing, man? I've been here a bunch of times, so I know this spot pretty well. All right, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Take it easy. Thank you. I wrote the Uber customers. You could hear one of them texting me back, so that's good. That's good. And they're jumping curbs to try to get there quick. It was fucking bullshit what they did to me here. Oh my god, zombies. Zombies, wake up, zombies. Fuck. Why are you still here? You're getting killed. What is, you should have left. You should have quit. I would have left on that order. Monica and Maria. What's up? I'm back for another half. Another half. Like a Monica and Maria. Monica and Maria. Just sit. Okay. No problem. Owen is honest with me. He said it might take a minute, a long minute. So I think I'm going to go get a drink. Or so I'm going to get do something. I'm not going to fucking sit here. I'm going to get some food or something. A snack. We got a one mile... $7.50 DoorDash. We're gonna do it while we are waiting for this other order. It's freaking crazy. The customers, I'm in touch with the Uber customers. They seem very cool. Like they're totally used to waiting for orders uh, from this place. Mendocino is just terrible when they're crowded. Yeah, you got it, man. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. <laughs> we spent all this time waiting for these Mendocino Farms orders. We walk right in on Jersey Mike's. Dude, I just don't have the cash right now, but I'm buying these guys gift certificates for sure. We're here. I believe the customer gave me a Customers phone number or something. All right, cool. Head north on North Curson oh, Avenue so cool. toward West Sky. All right, back to Mendo. I actually have the scooter on single motor for the first time like ever, because we're so low on battery. And I think there's about, we have about three miles worth of orders to do in that double. So I'm just fucking single motoring it, which I never ever do. If these orders are not ready, it'll be freaking insane. Oh man, dude, this place has been a freaking tragedy. I've done two DoorDash orders while I'm waiting for this other order, bro. Hopefully these will be ready now. I've been gone for a long time. I got Monica and Maria. I left for a long time. I got Monica and Maria. Oh yeah, we're still not ready yet. Okay. So the Uber order is starting to bitch. So I'm gonna take this $8.75 Jersey Mike's and I'm just gonna do it. This, this customer is calling the restaurant. Thank you. So obviously I can't wait forever for this order. So I'm getting, I will show you the text that these customers sent me. I can tell they're trying to be nice, but they're getting, they've been waiting like an hour and a half. So I am actually gonna cancel it on them because otherwise they'll give me a bad rating. They're gonna get, they don't know, they blame the drivers. They'll blame the drivers. So I got this $9 DoorDash. 
we're gonna do this and it'll be our last order and we're not gonna make our hundred but I'm not a fucking slave I mean I can't just sit here in the heat waiting all day for these motherfuckers wait we're limping now man we got like zero battery left this is crazy I think we're 1017 where are you fuck oh it's open fuck god it's so fucking hot in here where's your air conditioning building oh my god this is turning into a tragic fucking shift Technically, this was like the worst shift we've ever had. I think we did make 100, we're very close. But we worked for six and a half hours, what the fuck? It's a pretty bad hourly rate, but I don't really care. Uh, it wasn't really that stressful. It's early in the week, I feel pretty good. Guys, I appreciate you following the videos. Channel's been doing amazingly well. It doesn't happen without you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments. Come on, elevator. Ask questions, whatever you want. Just talk to me, baby. Alrighty guys, thanks for your support and I'll see you tomorrow for sure. Delivery video every day this week. I don't know how anybody rides scooters that only go 15 miles per hour. We're going home at like 14, 15 miles per hour or pretty much out of battery. This is fucking torture. How do people drive any distance like this?